read it. What do you mean it's upside down? It is upside down. Upside down. Well, how do you know it's upside down? That's the back. Oh, so, okay, so read it this way. Okay, I'm going to read this really yeah. quick book to you. No, it's upside down again. But you just said it was upside down, and that's, I turned it around. Yeah, well, because it's, it's, that's, it's, that's upside down, and that's upside down. Oh, that's okay, that's the back. This way. Yes. Yeah, so I can read it this way to you? Yeah. I can read it like this to you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you can have a seat there. Well... We're going to read A Walk in the City by the author is Joe Waters. When teacher is talking, what happens to our mouth? Quiet. Quiet. And Quiet, man. The be... teacher talking. Yes. Teacher and talking. Where should our hands go? Uh, yes. To yourself. To uh, yourself. Gio, yes. can I have you come sit here right by me, please? No, First, can you get some tissue? on the table and let's wipe our hands off the tissue. You can clean out, clean out your nose on there. So we're going to talk about the environment, okay? Can you say environment? environment. And in the environment, we have the city, trees, and compare. Remember we talked about compare? It means that we're, we're looking at two things and we're saying, oh, Trinity has on a blue shirt, Micah has on a blue shirt, Kamori has on a black shirt, Devea has on a black shirt, okay? So that's comparing. What do you know about the environment? What's in it? What can you tell about the environment from this book? That's a bird. That's part of our environment. Are you ready? Can I do this? Okay. Here we go. When I read the book, I want you to listen to the environment to tell me what's in it. Nature Detectives, A Walk in the City. Right here we have the table of contents. This tells you what's in the book. It tells you where to go see certain things in the book. So like our city birds are on page 14. Our leaves and wings are on page 10. So if I say, Desan, I want to know about the city birds. It'll say go to page 14. And then I'm going to go to page 14 and voila, city birds. Voila. Okay, here we go. Show me good city. See the city. Where are we? We are in the city. The city is busy and bustling. It is bustling. Moving around. Busy, busy, busy. Everybody's moving and walking and shuffling and stuff like that. Quiet mouth. It's somebody that's in the city and he's bustling. Do you need some tissue for your nose? Okay. Please. Please listen to what we're saying, what we're reading, okay? Gio, my friends can't see. Flowers. Look at the flower pots on the window seals. Flowers brighten up the city. What color would this be? Pink. Pink. You see how bright it is? Wouldn't that make you happy in the city? Yeah. Okay. And is the flowers a part of our environment? Yeah? They are? I would agree. Trees. Trees grow in the city, too. They even grow up through the sidewalk. Look at that tree in the middle of the sidewalk. Is the tree part of our environment? Yeah. Nice. Don't pick those off. They're going to cause havoc all day. Leaves and wings. The trees have bright green leaves. The trees have seeds, too. Clouds. Look right up at the sky. What cloud shapes can you see? White. White. But what shapes do you see? I can see an oval. You see an oval. Where do you see the oval at? I see a square. That's an oval. Where do you see the square at? Please go put that in the trash. Thank you.
Where do you see a square? Dasan, did you say you see a square? Uh, yeah. Where? There's a square, there's a rectangle. Wonderful observation. Um, um, City birds. I see, I see, I pigeons. One moment. Pigeons peck for crumbs. The pigeon has found some water to drink. Why do you think the pigeons are drinking water? I know why. I know why. They're tired of walking. Miss Juanita? Why do you think that the pigeons are drinking water? It's yucky. Because it's yucky, water is yucky? Yeah. No, it's good. So why do you think the pigeons drink water? Because they need someone to drink so they can't get tired. So they drink water so that they don't get tired. It's not yucky. It's yucky. Because it's yucky? You think water is yucky? No! Yes! Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Show me no. the city. Well, yes. we could no. disagree. Maybe he doesn't like the way that water tastes. But maybe the pigeons need the water. You see how they're drinking that water? Upside yeah. down. Hmm? It's a beast. Okay. How, how is the pigeon going to use the water? To sink. Come back where you were sitting, please. That is not safe, dear. Where, how do you think they're going to use the water? To do you sleep. need a break? Do you need a break? Okay. To what? To, need a break. to what? I need a break. I need to free? Okay. You don't seem like you're having a hard time, but when you are having a hard time, I will give you your break, your break card, okay? Well, the break is not for being sleepy, but we'll talk about that in just a moment, okay? Cracks in the sidewalk. Down in the sidewalk, little weeds grow. Ants make their home in the cracks. Look at those ants. Ew. Ew. Do you see how they're in the, the, the crack? How do you think that they're going to use the soil in the crack? I'll, I'll bring it around. Show, have a seat and I'll bring it by. How do you think they're using that soil in the crack? Um, because the how do you think they use the soil? Because they have to so they can see. So they can see? My name is not make the dirt their home? Yeah. How do they make it their home? Lily, how do they make the dirt their home? They go under. They make the dirt their home by going under. Wonderful. Pill bugs. Pill bugs hide in corners. Can you count them? Let's count them. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. This one is a different one. But they, they can curl into a ball. Who is hiding? The spider is looking for its web. See that spider? Did that scare you? The spider's web glistens and gleams. It looks like he can, he can. Evening in the city. As the sun goes down, moths fly by. These are their feelers. You see, our feelers are our hands, and we can see. Well, this is their feelers right on their wings. It's getting dark. Time to go home. So here we go. We have went over the entire book. And in the back of the book, there's a glossary, and it tells us what everything means. So bustling, busy.
busy with lots of people moving about. Josiah, please leave your hands to yourself. Thank you. Pigeons is a type of bird that lives in the city. Seed, part of a plant that grows in a, into a new plant. Now we have been nature detectives. High five. High five. Nice 